Oh man, when the Scorpio drops, it's gonna be absolutely, unbelievably amazing. I'm gonna pick it up day one, and I'm gonna tell you somewhere here right now, folks. I am tired of hearing about the narrative. You go on all these video game websites, and how Sony is just unbelievably amazing. They're on top of their game. They put all their games on the pedestal, and that's what they do. That's what they sound like. They go. Look, Microsoft, Xbox, they're not losing. They are, in fact, probably going to turn the ship around. Not that they really need to turn the ship around. I'm just tired of hearing about how PlayStation's perfect, how Sony's perfect. Bro, no, 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 no. I will give you a few reasons to go out and pick up an Xbox right now, okay? And I'm not an Xbox fanboy, by the way. I'm just telling it like it is. First of all, you have backwards compatibility with the Xbox One. Okay, and I know gamers are going to sit there and say, oh, we don't care about that. We don't care about that. Because look, on the PS4, you can't play PS3 games. On the Xbox One, you can play Xbox 360 games. That is cool and convenient and an awesome feature to have. But gamers, you know, PS4 gamers more specifically don't care. They're like, I don't care about that, Michael. If I care about that, I'll just go out and buy an old PS3. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It ain't no big You're just saying that because you're jealous. You wish you had a cool feature like that on your PS4, but you don't. You don't. Number two, and this isn't my opinion, by the way, but Xbox Live is more reliable than the PlayStation Network. Every time, it seems like every time I want to go online to download a demo or some shit like that, the PlayStation Network is down. Xbox Live, they don't have many problems like that. And again, that's not my opinion. That's not Michael saying I like Xbox over PlayStation. That is a fact. I will pop up articles on the video right here, right now to prove to you that it is a fact and not my opinion. With the Xbox One S, you get a 4K Blu-ray drive inside of the freaking machine. Future-proof! And I know gamers are going to sit there and say down in the comments below, We don't care about that, Michael. We do not care. Okay, whatever. But it's hilarious to me how Sony put out this pro version of the PS4, this professional version of the PS4, and didn't include a 4K Blu-ray drive inside of it. I mean, that is ridiculous. You're spending your hard-earned money, and you're not able to freaking play 4K Blu-rays on the pro version of the PS4. Stupid, 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 stupid. On the Xbox One S, you can. And on the Xbox Scorpio, obviously, you can as well. All right, I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started, folks. I can go on and on and on. But I think it's fairly obvious that, bro, there's not much of a reason to pick up a PS4 anymore. The advantages are obvious, and I'm not being sarcastic here. I'm being totally upfront and honest with you. You get a better value when you buy an Xbox over a PlayStation here in 2017. And the Scorpio, when it drops, oh my gosh. The most powerful console ever assembled, the Xbox Scorpio. And you people who have a PS4 Pro, you're going to be crying. You're like, oh, why did I buy the inferior console? Because the powerhouse of a system, the Xbox Scorpio. Woohoo! Seriously, and that's not my opinion. That's a fact. The Xbox Scorpio is indeed more powerful than the PS4 Pro. Look it up.